With home COVID testing kits about to arrive en masse from the federal government, in addition to what people are procuring themselves, there's sometimes confusion about what a test result really means. At Central Primary Care on the northwest side, patients are coming in after testing negative at home. Even if they do the right way, they are coming back negative when they have the symptoms and then they go out thinking they are negative and they are safe but they spread it around and they are a few days later when the symptoms get worse they get a PCR which is a poly chain re uh, reaction test um, that comes back positive and by then they have exposed multiple people. It even happened to the doctor at Christmas. That came back negative, but I have a typical symptoms. I did a PCR, which came back positive. And so that dynamic has some questioning the accuracy of testing metrics region wide. Nevertheless, the Chicago Department of Public Health welcomes widespread home testing. I really, really like the at home antigen tests. They're the ones I really turn to. We are seeing people going and like repeatedly getting tests. Please don't do that. A positive a positive test is a positive test. Stay home, isolate for five days. Now, according to the Chicago Department of Public Health, this is the third consecutive week where all states in the United States and territories are under a travel advisory, an indication of just how much Omicron continues to rage. Officials are saying if you take a home test and you get a positive result, it's imperative that you call your doctor even if you're asymptomatic. If they're positive or they're asymptomatic, they're positive, they may say, you know what, I don't have any symptoms, let's not report it, let's go to work, I need to go work and pay my bills. Still, public health officials are not bothered. They have full confidence that more testing for COVID is better, even if some of it sometimes isn't as accurate as it could be. If you've got underlying conditions, get connected to some of those newer medications that I really want people to get connected to, because that's going to be part of our long-term plan here for controlling COVID. In Chicago, Ravi Bajwal, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.